Hello guys, I'm Julian and today I show you how to install Windows 7 after you already have installed the Windows 8, 10 or 11. If you have this type of error, you can try my methods. This is the first method, we need to go here at this uh, web page and to download this uh, small program I put a link in the description ok I download it I extract the program and after that uh, I need to copy this program in the bootable stick. After I finish all of this, I try again to install the Windows. If the error come back, you can try the second method. First, don't forget to enter in the BIOS and uh, disable Secure Boot if is enabled. If you do not do this, you cannot install Windows 7 because it do not support Secure Boot. For the second method, we need to go to this site and here we need to download uh, a program This program have the drivers for the USB Ok, this is the program, we download it and after that we need to extract him Ok, on the desktop we need to create a new folder, name it like you want, I already have one, already done. but I change him and I make a new one to see how I do all of this Ok, after we have this, we need to put this program in the folder.
and now we need to search another program we go to the Google Okay, we go to this site. Agree, and now we need to download the program. And this program we move to the folder on the desktop. Now we create a new folder and we name it temps. After we have all of this, we need to go in the USB bootable, source, and uh, we need to copy install and boot in our folder. To find the file easy, you can sort by size. After we finish to copy these two files, we run the program DISM and you have to follow all the steps I made.
after we finish with this program we need to copy back the two files boot and install to the bootable stick we replace the old one After we finish to copy these two files, we can uh, install the Windows 7 if you do everything exactly like me. If this method doesn't work either, you need to go uh, in the BIOS and to disable secure boot. Windows set uh, don't work with the secure boot. In my case the secure boot in the BIOS was enabled and I need to disable it. And after we do all of this the windows can uh, run perfectly. This is all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.